So last week I was driving down Ventura Boulevard when I noticed this and it completely took me by surprise. And I gotta say, it gave me quite a happy feeling. This is something I haven't seen since I was a little kid. Now I showed this on my most recent Valley video and I said that I assumed it was a pop-up for the upcoming movie with the same title, but it turns out it's not a pop-up. This is a permanent licorice pizza store. According to the employee that I spoke with at this store, it has nothing to do with the upcoming movie this is a record store that was already here. It's called Here We Are, and they had been planning to change the name to Licorice Pizza for quite a while. And just by coincidence, they happened to do it around the same time that the movie was coming out. Apparently, the owners of Here We Are grew up in Los Angeles. They were fans of the record store Licorice Pizza. They used to go there back in the 80s, and they had been wanting to change the name of Here We Are to Licorice Pizza for quite some time. But the employee that I spoke with here at the record store assured me that this is not a pop-up and has nothing to do with the movie. So for those of you that don't know what Licorice Pizza is, it was a record store that opened up in 1969 in Long Beach, California, and grew to over 34 locations in Southern California. The founder's wife is the one who started the retail store Oz, which might be why the Licorice Pizza location on Sunset Boulevard later became an Oz store. They ended up selling Licorice Pizza to Record Bar in 1985 so that they could focus on the Oz stores. In the mid 80s, Licorice Pizza began renting videotapes and that became the bulk of their business. In 1987, Licorice Pizza was sold to Musicland who wanted it for the video rental business. So now let's head inside Licorice Pizza and see if it's anything like the original stores. One of the most disappointing things is they had no cardboard cutout of Debbie Harry for me to practice my dating skills on. Oh, Debbie. Hi. The lady will have the linguine and white clam sauce and a Coke with no ice. In case you never noticed, that entire scene in Fast Times at Ridgemont High was filmed in front of a licorice pizza store inside the Sherman Oaks Galleria. All right, so that's it. Not a whole lot to see. It's a really small store. And, you know, to be honest, it definitely is not like the licorice pizza that we remember from back in the day, but it is what it is. Um, I think for me, my favorite part was the free licorice on the counter, which is something that licorice pizza used to do back in the day. I was really hoping they were gonna have more merchandise. They did have the licorice pizza t-shirts and the employee behind the counter told me they had more merchandise on the way. They just weren't really sure what they were gonna have. Now I did ask if they were planning on carrying the old style licorice pizza record and cassette tape crates, but they weren't sure if they were gonna have those. Now, I really hope that they do end up carrying those record and cassette tape crates because I know at least in my memory, those were a big part of Licorice Pizza and I actually still have my original Licorice Pizza cassette tape crate. So again, it's pretty cool. Definitely not the same as it was back in the 70s and 80s, but it's still a nice little throwback, a nice little piece of nostalgia. It's really cool to see that sign and hopefully they'll have more merchandise in the near future. If you're in the area, I would recommend stopping by and checking it out, at least to take a picture in front of the sign. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. I know it was a really short one, but I just wanted to let you all know about this new store here in the San Fernando Valley. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. He just couldn't wait, so he hired me to find out what his wife was giving him for Christmas. He turned out to be one lucky guy.
Camouflage by Rod Stewart. Some guys have all the luck. Chicago 17. Breaking Hearts by Elton John. And Like a Virgin by Madonna. I know a good idea when I hear one. This Christmas, I'm giving music. Prince's Purple Rain. It's going to be a very purple Christmas. On sale at Licorice Pizza for $6.99 on LP or cassette.